Like a lot of other things in the world, volcanoes are out there. They exist. There are hundreds of volcanoes all over the world in each continent. Some are dormant, but many erupt, and that can cause major damage. Now, out of all of the volcanoes listed, there is one that has taken my attention the most, and that one is Mount Spur. Mount Spur was made by monstrous blast of ash in Alaska in 1953. Even though the Mount Spur was made by an eruption, also composed of a volcano and andesite, started growing from the older volcanic crater. Mount Spur's elevation over 11,000 meters high is covered in snow and ice 12 miles around the bottom. I'm gonna kill two birds with one stone. So now Mount Spur's first eruption was again when it was created in 1953. That eruption released ever living heck out of ash on the town of Anchorage. Then all the people were, looked at that cloud and just were like, Look honey, a gigantic cloud of ash. Uh -huh. oh! Just kidding, that didn't really happen. Not only that, a very aggressive downpour of rain came down with the ash. So not only was the sky covered in ash, so ash is one destruction type that Mount Spur has when it erupts. How we just covered that Mount Spur can cause flash floods would be a destructive force as well. Magma created is sort of a dome-shaped lava assortment, so that would have to be Mount Spur's magma type. No real constructive forces that come along with Mount Spur. So I guess it's fair. It's fair that we describe Mount Spur as a destruction-only volcano. You may think that this is the only one major eruption that Mount Spur has had over its life, but you're wrong. There's one more eruption that Mount Spur has made. I've already told you about Spur's eruption from 1953, but 39 years later. Alaska Stratovolcano experienced another great eruption. In 1992, Mount Spur spat out gallons and gallons worth of ash on Anchorage. Almost everything or in Anchorage was halted due to the ash quantity. Ports were closed and runways were just unusable. It just spread like a virus because if you think that you are about to outrun or escape the ash of Mount Spur. And cloud of ash is approaching. Better skedaddle. There's ash on your left. <laughs> Turn around, there's more on your right. <laughs> and just when you think that you've escaped all that, a cloud of ash behind you will be right on your tail and you won't be able to outrun it. Then the ash cloud finally consumes you whole, then you'll fall to the ground, start coughing uncontrollably. Then the ash finally gets to your system, and then the ash, and so you can no longer breathe, so you'll suffocate and die. Okay, that was a little bit dark. Anyway. An explosion of ash can cause so much damage on one town, then that is an eruption. One day he just might say to himself, The one true and most destructive volcano in Alaska, and nobody will ever stop me. <laughs> Time to go to bed. Well, these are the only two eruptions that Mount Spur has unleashed on Alaska. So this is really all the information that I can give you. So with that, I hope you learned something new with this video, and thanks for watching as always. I'll see you.